Hello, I am Mudita, and welcome back to Satisfactory. Today, I want to go over the new blueprints I've made for the next most common amounts I transfer by rail. When using trains, I highly recommend using a storage container as a buffer. The belts directly connected to the freight platform will pause during the roughly 28 second long docking animation. These are some of the blueprints I've made to give me a steady output on the unload side of the train. Today we'll start off small with the 200 and work our way up. Go ahead and clear this and let me show you how I made it. I normally start with the merger just to get the spacing right, even though this one won't need it, but just to keep all my blueprints consistent, we'll place the storage container one meter away from the merger and then work from here. So we are going to start with a splitter and if I want 200 that means I need to be working with at least the mark 3 so that's going to be 270 coming out of here from here I'm going to go ahead and grab a merger and then a splitter if I take 270 and I split it all three ways that would be 90 90 and 90 so the goal right now is to cycle 70 back leaving me with 200 so i already know i won't need this merger we can delete that so i've got 90 here but now i need to get it down to 70. So for that i'm going to go ahead and place a splitter here and a merger here if i take this 90 and i split it three ways that's 30 that's 30 and that's 30. so now i've got 60 and 30 here if I take this 30 and I split it three ways, there's 30. I need one more merger. Go ahead and place this right here. And this is going to need to be a mark three. And this will only be 10. So I'm taking this 30 right here and I'm going to split it all three ways. This last one, we're going to need one more merger. Go ahead and place that right there. Right here it has 60. That's 30 and that's 30. And then for this last one, I'm just going to add two stubby little lifts here so we can keep things as compact as possible. Spin the lift around and then we can just delete these top ones. And then from here, from there to there. And currently it looks like it's clipping, but if you wanted to, you could change the speed and it'll make it short. And then you just go back to mark one. If you didn't, when you save the blueprint and then you go to place it in the world, it'll place the lifts with the correct length accordion. So I took this 30 and I split it all three ways. So this right here has 10. So we've got our 30, 60, here's our 70. And then we just need to mark two right back into the storage container. And to give myself the label, I just grab a display sign, go up two notches, press H to lock it, and then just merge it back one now it's got a nice easy to read sign. Now let's go over 250 per minute. Again we start with a splitter. We need 250 that's going to be a mark 3. This one's going to be nice and easy. I'm going to go ahead and place a splitter here and then the merger is actually going to go right here instead of in front of that one. All right so if I have 270 and if I only split it in half it's going to try to do 135 and 135. But if I only have a Mark 1 belt here, that'll keep this completely full. So this will be 60 and this will be 210. With the 60, we'll split it all three ways. So there is 20, here is 20, and there's 20. And that's all we needed to do was subtract the 20 from the 270 and we're left with 250. And last but not least for today, the 500 per minute. So 500 per minute is an interesting one because that is just not a fun ratio. In fact, even if you simplify this fraction, you get 25 over 39. Not really something I want to deal with. Usually I start with the belt that I'm going to need, so I need to mark 5 at least. So 780. I want 500, so that means I need to send 280 back into the storage container. I could use a Mark 3 belt, which would be 270, and then split a Mark 1 belt into 6 so I get 10. Or, I could try to just make the 500. So we're going to use a Smart Splitter for this one. So we'll go ahead and put this right out in front. Go ahead and attach our Mark 5 belt. 
gonna place a merger right in front and a splitter to the side with the smart splitter settings i'm gonna set any for straight ahead and any also to the left to the right is going to be overflow i'm going to put a mark four straight ahead so that's 480 and then i'm going to do a mark one belt to the left so both of these are priority from here i'm going to take a merger and place it just to the side and we're going to use all three outputs of the splitter so dealing with the mark one belt that would be 20 20 and there's 20. now i have 480 and 20. so here is my 500. here is 40 going back and let's see what belt this needs to be so i took a 780 i took out a 480 and a 60 line so there should be 240 left on this belt here and we'll attach that to the merger so now i've got 240 plus my 40 that's 280. so i just need a mark 4 belt into here and we just go ahead and place our sign. And now we have 500 per minute load balance with the buffer. All right, so in making the video, I realized I could probably make another version of the 200 that was a little bit more compact, or at least a little less busy. So let me show you how I made this one. And this one's gonna go with the smart splitter. So after I did the 500, I decided might as well make a version of this one that also used the smart splitter and see how it comes out. So mark three into here, so we've got 270. In the same fashion as making the 500, I thought about how I could make 200 in an easy way. And if I want at least one of the inputs to be an existing built speed, might as well work with mark two. So 120 plus 80, I can do that. So let's go ahead and place a splitter here. And then we're going to need the merger in front of this one. All right, so if we work with Mark IIs right here, so we've got a Mark II into here and a Mark II into here. That would be 240. So let's go ahead and set any and any. And then this one is going to be the overflow, which is only going to have the remaining 30 left. So we can go ahead and plug that straight into the merger. All right, so 120, 120. If I take this 120 and split it three ways, that would be 40, 40, and we'll take this 40 and send it back. So here's 40 and there's 30, and this is the 70 that we needed to send back. And then up here we've got 120 plus the 40, so that's 160 plus another 40, and here's our 200. Keep making this shape. I will upload both versions. This one is just going to be 200B. And I realize this may seem silly because this is just way less that you have to do, way less mergers and splitters, but I actually prefer this one. And the reason for it, and I realize this is probably pretty silly, I just actually prefer using regular splitters over the smart splitters where I can. Smart splitters are great, but this right here is, in my opinion, kind of testing the limits of what these things can handle. And in this system, I think it will operate just fine because we're dealing with fairly low speeds. But having two priorities and then the overflow, in my opinion, isn't the best way to use these. I think as a general rule of thumb, it's much better to use one priority and then the overflow so that it only has two options. Thankfully, I've been pretty lucky and been able to rely on full belts coming out of storage containers, meaning this shouldn't have an issue because this should be a completely full Mark III belt and both of the priorities are under half of what this is, so the priority should be trying to split it in half, and then if there's any extra, it'll go that way. So I think in this system, it'll work fine. But if this wasn't a full belt and it wasn't coming out of a storage container, I don't like to do this. But both of these and the other ones will be available for free on my Google Drive, so feel free to use whichever one you like and let me know. What do you prefer? Do you prefer the simplicity and making things just a little bit neater? Or are you weird like me and you just like the busyness of this one? And I guess simplicity just relying on basic splitters instead of the smart splitter. It's okay, you can tell me I'm crazy for liking this one. I've accepted the fact. Bean agrees with me. And that is going to do it for this one. 
Like always, if you have any suggestions or requests for any of these splits, load balancers, ratios, anything like that, I am all ears. I'll look forward to those. And thanks for watching.